Okay, breaking news is just in. CNN has been proven, and I mean proven, to be liars when it comes to the issue of Barack Obama's birth certificate. Just a few days ago, the CNN network boss, his name is John Klein, he came out and issued a statement and said that the birther story, the Obama birther stories, is dead because Hawaii destroyed all their vital records in 2001. In other words, he said that they went to electronic, and they, when they went to electronic in 2001, Barack Obama's original long-form birth certificate was destroyed. That is what CNN's John Klein said, uh, according to the Los Angeles Times. Um, there's going to be a link of that report uh, on this video to the right. But just recently, this is breaking news. Just recently, uh, a couple hours ago, the AP reported, according to public officials in Hawaii, they state that the Barack Obama's original birth certificate is there, and that it has been viewed and has been uh, confirmed to be true, and that it exists and that he's a U.S. citizen. Now, if he's a citizen and, and his birth certificate exists, why doesn't Obama simply release it? Why hasn't he released it the last few months if that long-form birth certificate exists? Now, this is, this is breaking news for two reasons. One is because CNN's credibility is probably going to be ruined when it comes to Barack, reporting on Barack Obama's birth certificate. Is it possible that John Klein, the network boss at CNN, was misinformed when he said that the vital records were destroyed? Remember in my last video I said, how can vital records be destroyed? Certainly they preserve those records, especially uh, the, the hospital that you're born at. Because on Barack Obama's certificate of live birth that he has posted online, none of those, none of the essential information is there. You don't have the birth hospital, you don't have a doctor's signature, you don't have all that stuff that you would have on a birth certificate. Now, public officials are coming out and saying that the birth certificate is real. There was a report like this a few months ago when uh, I think it was the governor of Hawaii came out and said that sh that. Sh Certain people had examined the record of Obama's original certificate, and that was indeed real. But they never released it. So why they... Now, someone is lying here. Either CNN is lying, which I think CNN is lying. I think there is... There, I think CNN is lying, at least to this extent, that, uh, CNN, that Hawaii does not destroy records. They may, sw they may switch their format, but they don't destroy your vital records. The reason Obama, the reason I think they said that was because they know that Obama, they may realize that Obama doesn't have a vital record in Hawaii. That doesn't mean Hawaii doesn't have vital records, though. It just means that Obama clearly doesn't have citizenship in Hawaii. But if the AP is reporting this, this story, that that, that that certificate exists, why doesn't Obama release it? That's what I want to know. He can silence the issue now, but he has these, and these reports come out, and they, they try to stop the Obama birther movement and claim that we're we're skept I mean that we're you know we're crazy we're lunatics but why don't they just produce the documentation it's not that hard well I mean are, are they so incompetent to think that just because they come out with a, re a news report that we're we're gonna accept that just because a news report comes out no it doesn't work like that that's not how the truth is figured out you have to release proof and until the document is released, we are going to continue to question it. Especially when you have media reports, so many conflicting reports about which hospital he was born in. You have so many conflicting reports about uh, where he was born, period. So let me just read quickly uh, off this. World Net Daily has also reported. They have gotten a statement um, along with the AP, but World Net Daily has got a statement uh, from a from the public information officer for the Hawaii Department of Health, they told World Net Daily this. Uh, this was reported July twenty. This was reported yesterday. Um, this was written by Jerome Corsi, the senior reporter there. He told uh, he was told by Janice Okub Okubo, the public information officer. She says this. She says when the department went electronic in two thousand one. Vital records, whether in paper form or in, any, or in any other form, were maintained. We don't destroy records. This is what the public official Janice Okubo said. This is what she said. So, she, uh, supposedly what she said. Now, there's also other reports I've seen online coming out saying that she didn't say this and that this has never been verified. 
So is this AP story fabricated? That's another question. I would like you guys to go jump on this. Uh, but the, this is the report coming out. Um, World Net Daily, World now World Net Daily is all, but of course World Net Daily is usually a pretty reliable source. So I would say this is a reliable story. Um, she also said, any records that we had in paper in any of the form in 2001 are still on file with the department. We have not destroyed any vital statistics, records, or statistics that we have. Um, again, so CNN's John Klein was basically telling staffers that Lou, that Lou Dobbs uh, had no, legit, no legitimacy bringing this birther story up. Because, you know, as you know, Lou Dobbs was covering this and saying that, you know, we need to see the birth certificate. So in CNN, John Klein came out with a story saying that, oh, Hawaii destroyed those records anyhow, so you wouldn't be able to see the birth certificate. Why did he say that? Where did he get that information from? So that's, that's the basic, there's conflicting reports here. One, once, one party is saying that, the birth certificate exists, another party is saying that it doesn't exist. So, the American people want to know, why won't Barack Obama release the long-form birth certificate if it exists?